If you're designing a book and want to have a wide column for text and a narrow one for images or captions or notes, you can use this trick I'm about to show you to make the relative proportions of the columns look good. You might want to use this kind of layout for a cookbook, illustrated nonfiction, or a handbook like Book Design Made Simple, which you see here. In Book Design Made Simple, we used a four column text area and used three columns for our text block and one column for our margin notes and captions. I'm going to show you how we did that. I've made a new document with four columns, as you can see. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we are in our master pages. So we'll highlight those. And now we need to make vertical guides at the inside and outside of each column on both pages. You'll understand why we do that in a minute. Now I'm going to copy these and paste them and then move them over to the other page. And while we're at it, we might as well make horizontal guides too. If I hold down Command or Control on a PC, it makes the guide span both pages and the pasteboard. All right, so we want to use three columns for text and this outer column for our notes or captions. And so the outer edge of our text block is going to be right here on this guide that I'm highlighting. So I'm going to get the measure tool. And I'm going to measure from that spot to the outer edge of the trim. And this info box tells me the width of that line I just drew, 13p6.75. Now you can see I'm using pikas here as my measurement. That is what I am most comfortable with, but you can use inches as we do in the book, or millimeters or any of the measuring systems that you like. It doesn't make any difference at all. The next step is to just check again to make sure we're on the master pages and highlight those and then go to layout margins and columns, and change the outside margin to 13p6.75. And also change the number of columns to 1. And now look what we've got. We have a text box that's just the width that we want, and an outer column that's marked with the vertical guides. So every time we want to use that outer column, we're going to have to draw a text frame. But that's not so hard. And we'll use it for captions like that. Now, why do we have these vertical guides? Let me get rid of this. I'm going to show you on a different page, so we're not on the master pages. Um, okay. Let's pretend that each of these little green boxes is an image. We can do our images at that width in that column. We can do them at this width. We can do them Let's see, we have this width to work with. We have this full width to work with. We can bleed to the left and the right, and of course the top and the bottom. We have this width here. It's the same as this width, of course, but it's in a different position. And not only that, but we can also use this width if we have uh, an image that needs to be that width, and we have a very long caption. We can always do a really wide caption with an equal width 
image, look at all those possibilities you've got. This doesn't even count the bleeds that you could do. So you've got a grid to work with, and other people may not notice that you're using a grid, but you will know. And you'll know that your columns are organized and your pages are organized, and the whole entire book will look better as a result. So, good luck with this. I hope it helps you produce a better looking book.